Hi, Libras. It's Abby. Welcome back to your reading. Uh, if you are a returning subscriber, hi, how are you? So nice to have you back. Thank you for coming back to see me again and hang out on the channel. Get a little reading. Um, and if you're new here, thanks for being curious and deciding to check out a reading of mine. Okay, so this is going to be a mid-month check-in. The time frame is from mid-June to mid-July 2021. Okay. Um, only take this stuff. It's like any reading on YouTube, right? Take the stuff that makes sense for you. Leave the rest behind. Don't be getting all twisted up over an internet card reading. Okay. Try to um, just take it with an open mind. Okay, so the first layer of cards that I've put down in my pre-shuffle, I set the intention that this deck, this is the Muse Tarot by Chris Ann, would be more predictions of what you can expect. And then I'm going to clarify for guidance with the Lightseer's Tarot here. So at the bottom of this deck, your first one out, we have the Eight of Wands. This is a fast moving energy. So things are moving along. This could be travel. This could be literal uh, movement. It can also be a lot of communication coming in. It can be like arrows, almost feeling like things are all sort of, you see how it's all coming to a point, right? It's like everything just kind of starts to hit a particular target. So let's see what that is. It's going to be different for all of you, but you have the High Priestess, the Nine of Emotions, and the Ten of Inspiration. Interesting energy. So you have some Pisces energy up here with the Priestess. Um, sort of mysterious, not really maybe sharing a lot, but feeling a lot into your intuition. This feels like you might be getting much more in touch with your intuitive side. With the nine of emotions, there's something that is a positive outcome here. It's a lot of self-satisfaction. It can be wishes coming true, something that you've asked for or wanted to come through for you that sort of starts to appear, which is very nice. Uh, you do also have the Ten of Inspiration. Now, this is like Ten of Wands. This can be a bit of a burdensome energy. This is when there's been a lot going on. Um, you could have taken on a lot of different projects. You may have said yes a few too many times and then realized later, like, oh, I don't know if I actually have the energy to be able to do all of this. Um, but it feels like there might be, you might be busy, <laughs> okay? is It feels like, yeah, I'm getting like a busy energy but that you're also getting something coming to you. Um, now, it could have to do with the Pisces person. You do have a lot of water here. Mm -hmm. You have the Emperor and the King of Air. Interesting. Okay, so my second deck here, I'm going to use it to take a look and guide. How can Libra best deal with these energies? First, the Priestess. Eight of Wands. <laughs> so this feels like you're intuitively probably going to lean into this movement is what this is saying. This just feels like go with it, right? This underlying, there's a current almost that it feels like you might be getting um, caught up in. And it doesn't, it tends to feel out of control a lot of the time when we make big moves or when we start communicating with someone new or we start sending out resumes or all that kind of stuff. We know energetically that something is the right direction, but we don't know exactly what the target's going to look like, you know? Um, we're aiming for something, but it's, it's the, you know, is it going to hit? We're not really sure. Is it better for us to hit the other target? Will we launch again once we get to the, the first target? Who knows, right? There's a lot of stuff that's kind of moving there. And you're moving into the Six of Voices, so I feel like for some of you, this is very literally moving house. Possibly kind of far away, actually, to another country. Um, but you're going to know. Now we have, with this Nine of Emotions... The Two of Swords. Okay, so be aware of anything that could be blocking you, especially if it has to do with um, stalemate energy. The Two of Swords I sometimes see as like a refusal to move, where it's like letting your thoughts get you to the place where you're just busy dealing with them and you're not actually accepting whatever is coming in for you. This also feels like if you do have something that comes through with you for you with this nine of emotions, this is like a wish come true or, or something that you've been wanting to come through that just all of a sudden does. 
it's almost like an, an energy of doubt, okay? So as guidance, this would be saying, be aware of that, okay? Be aware that there could be some doubts or some um, indecisive energies that come in and try and tell you, like, are you sure you want it, you know? Um, so just be mindful of that. How can Libra best deal with this Ten of Inspiration? Queen of Swords. <laughs> so get in your your logical air sign self, right? Look at it, assess it with some logic. Um, you might start cutting things out, right? Ten of inspiration is often tens are when we get to the ends of cycles. Inspiration, right? Too many inspirations, too many passions, too many projects, too many yeses, too many responsibilities. So the Queen of Swords assesses, sort of puts their, they don't stop feeling. They sort of place their feelings away not entirely, there's still, she could reach down and get that cup if she needed to, right? It's safe from other people, safe from being spilt, but if she needs to, she can get to it, but this is just like, okay, let's back up and assess this. Let's really take a look at this. And she's holding her sword, she's listening to the, what the information she's getting on the wind, and she's going to start cutting stuff away that doesn't work. I do like that you have the muse, which is like the king and the queen showing up here. So you could have a partnership in the works. So moving into your next era, in the middle of this period of time, we have the six of voices, the muse of voices, and the five of voices. So I'm feeling like there is a bit of an issue, like with communication, especially there could, you could encounter some kind of argument or it could be, you might have a fight over moving even. That's interesting. Um, but that's a possibility. There could be something where you have a difference of opinion with someone where you see something as being an improvement. And they are just kind of feeling like it's more of a, a stress or an unnecessary thing. They may not see the value in it. Um, that's what I'm kind of getting from this combination at the moment. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily have to be it. I'll tell you if I get something else, but that's the biggest thing I'm getting here. It's sort of like a difference of opinion or um, communication being difficult, right? This person here, if you see, we have the two sort of sides of this. And then above it, there's like this olive branch that's being kind of offered down. So it's it feels like these two hands are kind of like pushing the other away, right? Like they're kind of pushing each other's faces away. And then there's kind of peace being offered in the middle. So it feels like there could just be like some squabbles, trying to see things from a certain perspective. Like seeing eye to eye with people could be a little difficult with someone in particular, maybe with another air sign or with a partner doesn't feel like it's anything too serious. King of Cups, okay. King of Pentacles, my goodness. Three kings and a knight. So, uh, to deal with the six of voices, you got the King of Cups. So this is saying, okay, if there's not, say, maybe a water sign person, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that could be offering you some kind of assistance with whatever this m improvement that you're moving towards, um, this King of Cups is like sort of the epitome of the Six of Voices. This, this, this is the perfect person to deal with the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is moving out of choppy waters and moving on to improvements, making a decision that you want, you want things to get better and that you're willing to do the things that need to happen to make that a reality. And the King of Cups is someone who doesn't get flustered when the waters get choppy right? They, they go like, all right, so it's raining. All right. So it's stormy. All right. So something's not quite like perfect. I'm here for it. I've got it. I'm taking care of my responsibilities. I'm all good. I'm doing it with love, affection. I'm taking care of the, the people that I need to take care of. I'm showing myself love. I'm not faltering, right? I'm good on it. This is a really nice energy. It's a very emotionally mature um, way to handle this sort of six of swords. With your muse of voices, which is like a very, you can see here, this is like a really electric, really movement-oriented energy. Um, 
you got the king of pentacles so earth sign taurus virgo capricorn there could be an earth sign person who comes to be of importance for you um during this this almost feels like you libra kind of right in the middle and it's like telling you to draw on both so there's your air sign qualities right that being communicative being talkative um being logical right um like all of those amazing air sign qualities and then it's saying like maybe try to ground some of this maybe try not to fly away or float away or fly off the handle with every anything here um this could be telling you to sort of like try and, and bring some of it down to earth um during this period of time and I feel like it puts you in a, in a much more powerful position to sort of play on that. You could have some earth sign qualities in your chart that might get activated at this time, just whether you feel like it or not, you know, <laughs> that could just happen. Um, but this feels like you kind of bringing something in to aid your air, right? Like I'm a Pisces, but I have a lot of fire in my chart. So it kind of feels like when, like they kind of almost balance each other out in a weird way. And air and earth are sort of like those um, sort of opposites there too. I like it. Okay, we have here, but the five of voices, the knight of swords. All right, so the knight of swords with the five of voices, this is interesting. So again, more air, right? More air sign qualities, but this is a, a quick movement Sometimes I would say be careful about rushing into anything. If you have an argument or a disagreement, if communication goes weird and it feels like there's just not a lot of peace or understanding in harmony, um, because it feels like you're trying to work towards harmony, you have the Six of Swords, so that's like trying to achieve harmony in the mind space. King of Cups, that feels pretty strong. The Five of Voices is like with the Knight of Swords. As guidance, it would be like, be mindful of rushing in, be mindful of making judgments right away, be mindful of turning the whole thing on its head, throwing the baby out with the bathwater, that kind of thing, okay? Um, mm -hmm. Pull it back down to earth here. Emotional maturity and groundedness are probably going to aid you the best in this time, Libra. Because I feel like whatever you're working towards, you're very passionate about it. And you know, deep down, intuitively with this priestess energy, that you have to move in some way, right? Whether it's just energetically or physically, whether that's in love or in business, it's like, you know, you have to. Um, but there might be a desire to be a little impulsive, okay? Um, so, and it seems like when you come up against a resistance of some sort, that that might get sparked up. So just be mindful of that, okay? Your last one, we have the Three of Inspiration, the Seven of Emotions, and the Emperor. So Three of Wands, this is rapid expansion. Things moving very quickly. It can indicate long distances between things. When we had like the Eight of Wands, the Six of Voices, and the Three of Wands, it made me feel like you could be possibly moving to somewhere that's on another shore or far away or making plans to do something like that. Um, that is a possibility. For others, it's like you're seeing your ships come in, right? You've already planted some seeds. You're starting to see results. Um, and that's very, very nice. You don't have it yet, but you're starting to see it. <laughs> it's it's a nice energy. Um, then we have the seven of emotions. So this is being sometimes a little spoiled for choice. It can be um, in a almost like dreaming manifesting stage where you're kind of thinking of all the different possibilities and then sometimes when we get really into that, it can be a little difficult to choose which one is the one where we're going to go. Um, we have the emperor down here. So this is that mature Aries energy. This feels like someone who's like conducting, right? If you see down here, it looks almost like the lines. This is striking me as like the lines on a, a page of music. The people are just kind of like the notes. This person sort of just commanding the energy around them. You could also encounter, um, so this feels like you possibly, for some, you coming back in and taking in a sense of control after this little blip, whatever this is here. I don't feel like this is going to be huge, but I feel like this is you coming back into control, not letting this thing shake you, whatever this is, which is great. Um, for others, this could be an Aries energy or an emperor-like person, somebody who's kind of 
um, they sit in a certain sort of position of power or authority, um, well-respected, possibly businessy, and you could be feeling like a, a desire to expand with them, but also some confusion emotionally. Let's get some guidance. So with this Three of Wands, how should Libra deal with this Three of Wands? Two of Pentacles. Okay. So the Two of Pentacles can be a card of making choices, right? A decision that has to be made um, about which way to go on something. It's kind of like saying you can't just... Um, if you want things to expand, if you want to keep the momentum going, like you're going to have to accept that you can't sort of like, what's that phrase? Tread water? Is that it? Yeah, it's something like that. I'm going to get something else on it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're afraid of getting left out of it being, oh yeah, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard, and I'm get, everything is going to change. Okay, sure, yeah, that makes sense. It's like the thing I really want is going to be really hard. It's going to take a, a while. I might be lonely. No one will understand. Ugh. I think you probably got this better than you think, Libra. Let's take a look with the Seven of Emotions. How can Libra best deal with the Seven of Emotions? Don't get, yeah, switch your, switch your perspective. So whatever it is that you choose, you try not to get into any kind of like, but what if I chose the other one? You know, that kind of like, hmm. But I, I gave up the opportunity for those other things by going the direction that I did. So yeah, so you did. That's, that's what happens, right? We can only choose one path in particular at a time um, in most things. Not in everything, but a lot of the time we kind of have to choose something and stick to it. So this feels like saying, make sure that you shift your perspective and that you're not crying over spilt milk. You're not crying over things that you never would have known the outcome for anyway. That you're focusing on your goals, that you're focusing on the things that you have, the things that you have to be grateful for. Because it feels like a time of a lot of movement and transition for you. With the Emperor, how can Libra best deal with this Emperor energy? Four of Cups, keep your eyes open. Okay, so Four of Cups is, for me, the card that says keep your eyes open. Stay uh, aware of opportunities. It's two fours. So comfort zones might uh, be mindful of like being in a comfort zone trying to have so much control over things with this emperor energy that you just almost don't want to move outside of it like you get to your little spot and you're like this is it forever i don't want anything to ever change but like that doesn't work right it doesn't work because we're always growing and changing all the time same as everybody else around us yeah king of wands so taking this leadership role fiery fire sign energy here this is like adventurous and it's that slow burn that I was talking about being a little absent earlier. You didn't have a whole lot of fire elsewhere and now the fire is kind of popping up. Yeah, because there's anxiety in the emperor again. Yeah, anxiety over having control, keeping control. Can I can sustain this? Um, yeah, which makes sense. But I would say even though there could be things that may have disappointed you, Libra, um, or that might not be as exciting as they work out as you might be looking for don't do not lose sight right um if we get into places where we stop saying yes we stop um engaging or like getting involved then it, you know we can risk sometimes losing out on opportunities i don't feel like that's too much of a risk for you here um tarot of course is just kind of a peak it's just a peek at the energies that might be present for you at this time Let's get, that's like five. Okay. Could we have one card, please, for my Libras? Oh, my goodness. They're all mixed together. One card, please, for my Libras for this period of time. 
appreciation. Very nice. Number 15, that reduces to a six. Harmony, baby. Harmony, the lover's card, making good, honorable choices. I love it. So, let's see here. It says choosing gratitude. That is all what this is about here. Both of these cards are kind of like that, right? <sighs> all right. So we have... This card shows a woman holding a single rose. She enjoys the scent and the beauty of that single blossom. Yet around and behind her, there are bramble bushes. She could be focusing on these, worried that she might get caught up in their prickly branches of difficulty. Instead, she's pausing to experience the blessing of this single flower. The sun is breaking through the clouds, shining on her choice and on the tiny buds waiting to open up. This card upright is telling you that you have much to be grateful for. And like the flowering bush behind the woman on the card, there is even more to come that you can't see yet. That is four of cups energy. Oh, absolutely. <sighs> Congratulate yourself for every moment that you choose appreciation. This decision shifts your consciousness from lack to value, and it's guaranteed to bring more worth and more riches into your life. That just feels like your whole last row here, right? Saying like, you could be confused, could get distracted, <laughs> like whatever, but the more that you choose to appreciate what you have, that you understand, it's like there's something in the works. <laughs> there's something in the sauce here, Libra, coming through. The affirmation, if you like affirmations, it says, I choose to see and appreciate the beauty and value around me. I increase my gratitude every day, and I am attracting even more to be grateful for. Beautiful. I love it. Okay. I'm going to give you a quick little three-card Lenormand for any last sort of predictions for Libra. June, mid-June to mid-July 2021. Is there anything that they need to be on the lookout for or be mindful of that will help them attain their highest good. Okay, so this could be a person, some confusion. Okay, so it feels like maybe some emperor energy here, possibly with that. So this feels like a, a man or a person, I'm not, I don't get too hung up on the gender in these cards, but a person who's really confused and could be confused in particular about, um, like their finances, their power, their authority. Okay. You've had the emperor twice here. So there could be an authority figure in the mix. Um, this sort of dispute here that I was kind of feeling with this five of voices, I feel like this could have to do possibly even with someone who's trying to like maybe confused about how to make themselves feel like they're in charge, make themselves feel like they are powerful because the bear is a, is a card of, of power, of authority, of having an advantage, okay? Um, could also be for others, maybe someone having confusion over like a um like a corporate job a big time job the bear card can sometimes signify that kind of employment interesting okay so this would be if you this could be yourself libra um if that makes sense to you or it could be i'm getting more that it's someone outside of you that you might be interacting with um someone who's just like not really sure which way they're going with something and i feel like it makes them behave um maybe a little er erratically so just be on the lookout for that and try not to let it um get into your your energy too much right we have this guidance to choose appreciation here and not getting hung up on the drama very nice libra this is an interesting read it was an honor to read for you thank you for sticking it out with me if you made it all the way to the end way to go <laughs> thanks for coming to hang out with me today if you haven't subscribed already please consider it if you happen to have a pisces placement somewhere in your chart i read almost every day for pisces on my first channel rogue pisces tarot there's a link in the description there's also a giveaway um, for a free reading with me for the month of june there are um, entry rules in the description down below um, take care of yourselves libra okay
and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.